An update tonight at 6. The U.S. Justice Department is now extending the deadline for people to weigh in on an agreement with New Indy Container Board. That is the York County paper mill that is accused of violating the Clean Air Act and pumping foul smelling chemicals into the air. Homeowners have filed thousands of complaints here saying that the emissions are causing nosebleeds, headaches, and coughing. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has been investigating New Indy for almost a year now and explains why regulators are extending the deadline. The U.S. Justice Department originally set a February 9th deadline for everyone to submit comments on the proposed consent decree and $1.1 million penalty against New Indy Container Board. But the Justice Department says after receiving multiple requests, they decided to extend the deadline an additional 30 days to March 11th. People can still submit comments online or by mail, but the EPA hasn't yet said whether they will hold another public comment meeting like they did last month. At that meeting, all but one of the speakers slammed the consent decree for being too soft on the paper mill. This is not a nuisance smell. We are prisoners in our own homes. My whole family is sitting at home. We can't even go outside. We get headaches and nosebleeds all the time. I've been working at that mill for 21 years. This smell has not really changed at all. Afterwards, some homeowners criticized the meeting's format, particularly the time limit placed on each speaker. Attorneys for homeowners suing New Indy say the proposed consent decree is too narrow, only focusing on one contaminant, hydrogen sulfide, when they argue the mill is releasing other harmful chemicals. The EPA says they're aware of those concerns and they're continuing to investigate. New Indy says in a statement they welcome public participation and to Describe the extension as, quote, an additional opportunity for residents and other stakeholders to share comments about the proposed decree. Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. And you might recall we have been covering the controversy surrounding New Indy for months at this point. If you go to our website, we've got a timeline showing you all the major points of this story, plus video from when Brandon got a tour inside the facility. You can go to WCNC.com slash New Indy to find that.